Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy and Q. And I did a video a while ago on dynamic subscriptions for paginated reports. Big hit with everyone that used reporting services. But now a lot of people are like, why can't we get this for Power BI reports? Fabric team, listen, and guess what? Now you can do dynamic subscriptions for Power BI reports. There's three requirements that you need to meet before you can set up dynamic subscriptions to Power BI reports. First, the report that you're gonna to subscribe to must live in a workspace that's backed by a fabric capacity or premium capacity. Number two, you must have build permissions to the data set that you're gonna to use to build the dynamic subscription. And number three, you must be a contributor, member, or administrator of the workspace, all right? So you know how we like to do. Instead of all this talking, let's do what? head over to my laptop. So let's say I've created this beautiful report. This is a salesperson KPI dashboard and I want to send this to a group of people. Okay. So I have this data set right here that contains the information that I'm going to use to create my dynamic subscription. And this is the report that I'm going to subscribe to. Okay. So let's take a look. Let's look at this data set. So I'm going to just use this viewer right here and you can see that I have the salesperson name, the employee ID, email address, subject, and then the format I want to send that report. Okay. That's what I have in this data set. So we're going to go back to the report and in this report, I'm going to click subscribe. Once I click subscribe, I'm going to choose create subscription. You'll get two choices, choose dynamic. And then notice what's interesting is I can use a data set. That's not the exact same data set for this report to build my dynamic subscription. That's what I like about this, right? So I can bring some additional data that has nothing to do with the data of the report to create this subscription. So I'm going to choose employee information, click next. And then now you need to choose all the columns you want to use when you set up the subscription. So I'm going to use email address. I don't want the format and the subject because everything's going to go PDF, but you could, you can control this by the format if you want to. I'm going to click next. And so right here, my recipients, not going to be manual. I'm going to say get data from the email address column. And then the subject, I want to get it from the subject because I built the subject out and that's it, right? That's my message. And then this is the report format. If I wanted to drive this from the data, I could, but I'm just going to do everything in um, PDF. I can set a link to the report. I can say, you know, send a page preview of the report and I can choose which page I want if I set this up, but we're just going to choose the analytics page because that's the only page in my report. So I'm going to click next and then I'm going to add a filter. I don't want to include the changes. So if I made any adjustments or filters to the report, I could use that, but I'm just going to accept the report as it is. I don't want it to use any of my filters or anything like that. So I'm going to add a filter and I'm going to say filter these reports based on salesperson. So I'm going to choose the salesperson, the salesperson column in the initial data set, the data set that backs the report. I also have a corresponding salesperson column in the data set that I'm using to drive this subscription. Then I'm going to click next. I can schedule this up, click next and click save and close. So once that's done, it's going to run on the schedule that I specified. If I want to change it, if I want to delete it, I can click here to click delete. If I want to edit it, I can click here and then I can go to my schedule. Maybe I want to edit my schedule and I can see maybe I want this to work at a different time. OK, I'm going to close this. And if I want to, I can say send it now. So I click send now and it's actually processing that up and it's going to send those emails out to the people in that list, in that data set that I have. If I head over to my email box and I'll see, look, Here's a report with a preview of it. You can see it's filtered down to me. Hey, let's just do a quick preview of it. And now you can see there's a preview of this and it's for me. If I go over to John Doe, so I'm signed in as John Doe, you'll see he got an email also and I can preview the report and you can see that this is filtered down to John and the numbers are slightly different because John's not as good as a salesperson as Patrick. All right, what do you think? You got any questions in comments? Are you using dynamic subscriptions for paginated reports or are you doing them for Power BI reports now? I love to know. Let's continue the conversation where? In the comments below. If you wanna learn more more about Fabric or Power BI, there's probably a video flying above my head. Check it out. And as always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.